Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to this evening's Champions live stream being the 1st of ja the 1st of January, the 5th of January today. <laughs> uh, it's been it's been a it's been a good uh, start of the start of the year if I'm honest, very nice indeed. I got a bit of movement upwards on Bitcoin and uh, yeah, today I want to talk you through this like the way um, I hope the lighting's okay because I've not got my main lighting on behind me. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> but I, I think it looks okay looking at the preview. But nevertheless, uh, what I wanted to say is I, I want to change the way that I'm doing the Champions live streams only very slightly. And this is through some of the feedback that I have received um, of like an or, or one way that I can look to improve it is by giving a a structured view of my view of, of Bitcoin, you know, as it stands right now. And then, you know, explaining if I'm in a trade, explaining the trade that I'm in and, and you know, where I'm looking to take that to. But then like a view of the week ahead. Uh, though, so then essentially, uh, I, I would like that so you would just have to watch one video a week, essentially of, of, you know, the champion stream. Watch that one video a week and you will know exactly what I'm looking for for the week ahead. OK, so it'll be like, uh, you know, every Sunday you'll get my view of Bitcoin and, you know, exactly how I'm looking to actually trade that that, that week or to come. Um, obviously, that's not going to be foolproof because I could say that I'm looking for something on Sunday night. Monday, something occurs on the charts and then my whole viewpoint is, you know, taken out and I've, I've just, you know, totally flipped bias, for example. But then obviously, you know, if that is to happen, then I'm always on Discord actually updating you throughout the day if that is to be the case. But for like a starting reference point where I'll be giving, you know, X, Y and Z is to happen. This is what I'll be looking to do. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, no, that's what I'd like to like start to add, you know, into the specifically in the champions, uh, the start of the champions live stream. Just, you know, update on Bitcoin at the start, how I'm looking to, you know, if I'm look, how I'm trading it right now and how I'm looking to trade it that week. So then for that whole week ahead, you have a reference of exactly what I'm looking to do. But, you know, you just have to be aware that it's definitely not going to be foolproof. And, you know, I'm open to switching bias in, in a drop of a hat. You know, in, in a second, I can switch a bias. But, you know, if that is the case, then, you know, as mentioned, I put something in the, you know, in the group chat. But uh, nevertheless, that leaves us where we are right now on Bitcoin. OK, um, so I did have I have had order waiting and I am actually going to remove this. Uh, yeah, I'll just remove that and we'll start fully afresh. OK, so <clears throat> uh, we obviously... Well, the last time, uh, let me just make sure. I'm going to have to turn the light on, I think, because it is a bit dark, isn't it? Oh, there we go, anyway. Um, let me just make, yeah. Cool, everybody can hear me. <laughs> Good like Superman. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I was going to start by saying is, obviously, the last time we spoke was on the Contenders live stream. And as you know, the, the Contenders live stream this week was a bit of a, like a, a live charting sort of one. So it was very nice. And so we obviously have all caught up on the third being Friday uh, and I was <clears throat> obviously you know originally looking at this uh, well actually no this hadn't formed it during the time but we were looking at the highs okay so the highs were obviously around this 7400 region um, and I was saying of the you know there was the high possibility that this was such an obvious short um, you just had to be a little bit careful okay and that's why you know you know if you originally shorted the high okay which I did uh, that's why it was so key to take profit down on the trend line lows uh, because it was you know I did just feel it was like such an obvious short position it, uh, it was the high likelihood to push on through it and push on through it we did do okay uh, and now we're in a little bit of no man's land if, I, if I'm honest I, I would be surprised not to say it cannot happen but I would be surprised to just fall down here, okay? Because then that would be too classic of just a lower high coming down for a lower high, coming down for a lower high and falling down. I think Bitcoin doesn't like to be classic like this. I, I, I would be surprised if it doesn't, to be honest, at the very least poke up before going down, okay? Not to say that we cannot just do that because obviously you can, but I would just be surprised, okay? I would be surprised if we do not take some liquidity you know wreck the most amount of people possible before going downwards okay obviously the flip scenario of that is that we do something more like this and uh, you know then just continue upwards so um <clears throat> you know right now though where you are is uh, it's just a bit, a bit of no man's land if you're if we're honest okay we haven't actually reached the weekly we haven't taken the, liqu the liquidity so you can see i've got an alert sat here to get ready to trade a swing failure if and when it happens sort of thing but uh on the flip side all you've done is resistance broken it and held you know you've, you've back tested it and, and moved up again and then what you have going on here 
is another sort of mini channel, okay? Where you just have the, oops, if we adjust this, so you just have the higher range coming for the resistance, flipping to, to support, back to the higher range, and now, you you know, you could get this move more down, so again, something like along this lines, okay? So maybe you do just this, and then hopefully, I, you know, I'd like to see that rise before we either trade then that swing failure, if it, if it becomes a swing failure, or you could then just see something like that and continuation to the upside again. Uh, so yeah, as it stands right now, this is not, not, um, well, it's in a bit, bit of no man's land, if I'm honest with you. I'd, I'd want to see the move up, okay, uh, to really, uh, you know, get into a short. Uh, or alternatively, okay, you want to see this lower, like, sort of line lost as support, okay? So the alternative would be more of a drop down, losing this, and then you would look for shorts to, like, lower levels sort of thing. But as it stands right now, yeah, <clears throat> not in a position, and I'm happy to not be in a position on Bitcoin, to be honest. Okay, um... <clears throat> So yeah, I, I am also still, I'm trading altcoins heavily, mana by the way. Yeah, that, that one has just been insane. It has been really, really good. Uh, and I'll cover altcoins actually in a second. Let me continue with Bitcoin as I want to, um, let me just say that if, if we do reclaim the weekly, it's kind of following on from, you know, what I mentioned two days ago. But, um, you know, if we do manage to hold that weekly, I am looking up to around the 7,800 level. Okay, obviously we have the old monthly 7,727. Okay, but then the weekly resistance, we got 7,861 and we were looking at the high of the wick for a possible swing failure pattern at 7,870. So, you know, this this 7,861 to 8,000, let's say 7,900, really, really, really key for the whole of 2020. It, it just is so key for the whole of 2020, depending on how, how this plays out. If this is actually held, okay, so if we do, oh yeah, look at this, by the way, I, I really love this new thing on TradingView, so we can put on longer levels and just hide things really, really easily. It's it's brilliant. Um, but uh, yeah, all I was saying here, if, if we sort of reclaim, okay, the, the, the high, okay, so the two scenarios are that you do something like this. Maybe you get an initial swing failure, gets everybody really bearish, and then you just pull on again. Okay, so that, that's one thing that you have to be aware of, that you could do this, pull back under really briefly, and then get a short squeeze underway. Um, but you know, if we do manage to do anything like that on this weekly, then I would be expecting quite a swift rise. Obviously, I do have this bit of resistance at 8k exactly, but what one would have to envision that you break out of this, you know, consolidation that we've been in now for, you know, over a month. Um, month long consolidation is, is generally going to have some follow through. So it'd be, be very surprising to to go up and back to this and, and then get rejected at 8k, you know. So you would be really looking to trade that up to 8.5k you know even up to like the 9k regions um as, as some higher targets uh, so it would be very very bullish indeed if you do anything other than a swing failure that that high okay uh where you could then you know it's a bit of a bit of a meme but obviously you got this little <laughs> inverse head and shoulder pattern going on i wouldn't trade the inverse head and shoulders i i would myself trade it level to level sort of thing so i, I would level to level trade it but um you know you have this bit of a inverse head and shoulders thing that people are going on about what uh but you know I don't really trade off of them too much, but um, yeah, I mean, in the in the grand scheme of things, all, we, all you have swing failure at the low, okay, so that's why we have to be careful to swing failure at the high, all we've done is swing failure at the low, get a very impulsive move up to the weekly, obviously from the weekly we came down to the goal, you know, here on the 618, which was also the weekly, so we literally went from weekly down to weekly support, which was also 618 there, and now you're moving back up, okay, uh, so, you know, in terms of... You know, the argument of is this an overall low for Bitcoin for the next generation? It's, 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 it does, it's kind of, you know, who cares? Uh, I mean, this is uh, obviously holding a support right now. And, uh, you know, if this is the case and we manage to maintain, I think seven, for me, 7,200. Okay, I think the point of control, well, it's going to have changed now, actually. Okay, so we're looking at the point of control now of this range coming in at... Uh, 7,180. So as long as we can maintain like 7,180, um, you know, 7,150, then yeah, one would expect, you know, pushing up to higher levels. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how I'm looking at, uh, at Bitcoin right now. I guess you, uh, let me see. So Matt's saying, could you apply wick off accumulation to this? I guess you could, you could label this as some sort of secondary to, so you could view this as an accumulation. Okay. So you, you could. Uh, volume 
you could yeah you absolutely you, you definitely could put some form of accumulation schematic on this uh but for me it's kind of a little bit irrelevant on bitcoin in this range that it's in it's just literally trade the range okay you, you could put on some form of accumulation schematic on this um but at the end of the day all i'm interested in okay all i would be interested in is if it takes the high and basically holds the high of the range i would be looking to trade it up to you know that eight at, really i think you can get to nine k's but you know very easy break the higher the range and, and trade it for a very decent, you know, one would imagine follow through that you're going to get. And uh, on the flip side, if you lose really for me this 8,100 again, uh, 8,100, 8,150, then I do think you're going to lightly push down to the lows of the range because if this is kind of holding it, it shouldn't keep losing the point of control. So, um, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, irrelevant all the different ways that you can look at this. At the end of the day, it's just a range, okay? So if we are range bound, lower the range, the higher the range, the lower the range, obviously a bit of a partial partial rise, but we just came down to weekly and 618 support. So one would envision, you know, coming then back up to the higher the range, I suppose. But, um, you know, literally range bound. And as I've said many, 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 many times, when Bitcoin is range bound, what do I prefer to do? I, I honestly just prefer to trade altcoins because um obviously yeah sculpting bitcoin here is 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 decent but you can't see these sort of 17 percent gains this is this is less than four days and obviously this is just on a challenge account where i've not even put on a lot of capital so if you have capital this is where the money is to be made if i'm totally honest this is where the money is in altcoins while bitcoin is range bound okay so i'll, I'll talk you through somebody else uh because i just feel that they are Oh, just just out of the world, e easy money. You know, trading Bitcoin here is not necessarily easy money. Well, I guess like this long was easy money. Well, I'm not going to say it. this long was like an obvious long. But now where you are, like, what would you prefer to do? Would you prefer to be like throwing a dice here and saying, well, I think this is this is the high, this is low. You know, you, this is such a this is, you know, not an easy range to trade where you are now. I think this is this is a roll the dice. OK, because I think if you're short in here. I think if you're being sensible, if you're short in here, your, your stop loss is, is li very likely to be above the high. OK, it's very likely to be above this high. And I think it's also extremely likely that we do get that, uh, you know, or just, you know, keep going up. But I think it's likely you take that high. So short in here, I think, is a is a poor short. You want to actually wait till, you know, a bit of support is lost. Uh, and on the, on the flip side, if you're going long here, you then are longing into weekly resistance. So it's it's just is there a good trade here for for me no i i don't like taking these low probability trades I'll, I'll happily wait till like a better trade is presented and in the meantime trade altcoins <laughs> to be honest with you like that's how i view it but um you know so the the altcoins i'll talk you through the altcoins that i have at the moment obviously i don't really need to cover manus very much because i covered it in great detail on the last live stream for the contenders but just i just have to go through it one more time because it's just absolute perfection it's just so 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 easy 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 money easiest money ever literally uh, and it all started obviously from the swing power failure pattern of the low swing failure of the low we've got our move back up we've got our move back up this is where i obviously got started getting interested in it i wasn't on the swing failure but i was interested in it back from the 66 where it obviously went from low up to its high come back to the 618 there from there we obviously had our you know 35 percent gain and then once more the key level and again that was obviously the high of the automatic rally uh from that automatic rally you'll know i was buying at 418 sats make that very 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 clear from 418 sats we are now obviously you know all the way up at 506 sats and then this is what occurred since the last live stream that i done uh on friday literally just put it on a plate for everybody saying I'm looking to buy back at the, well, let me adjust this because I've put, for some reason, put 65, put that back into the CC. And again, extremely, extremely easy. That is a 15% gain. Um, yeah, I just don't know what to say. That's so easy money. Okay. And on top of that, what did you have here? Resistance flip to support and even if you got into it here that is in itself six percent you have to think that this is moving like six percent in a day or you could be trying your very best to sculpt this one percent range on bitcoin um which you know th there's trades to be had don't get me wrong there is a hundred percent trades to be had on bitcoin but you know you, you give me the option of sculpting a one percent move on bitcoin or just you know sitting back literally doing nothing at all nothing at all the amount of time that this took was five minutes okay and to make 
seventeen percent, what what would you prefer? Do you to actually put in a lot of effort to sculpt a Bitcoin range, or, or just put on this five minutes and, and make seventeen percent? You know, I know what I prefer to do to be honest, but um. You know, that's that's mana for you. And I think this is very, very nice indeed. Uh, obviously, we are coming up to a bit of resistance now. So, you know, uh, you definitely are at resistance. So, you know, the top of this channel, okay, I'm referring to around 512 sats. Okay, obviously, the high being so far 5 510 sats. <clears throat> and you've obviously pulled back since then. So, you, you are at channel resistance right now. So, definitely got to be aware of that. Um... Cool. Does, does anybody have any other questions? Um, I guess for... I uh, kind of covers Bitcoin, I suppose. Like, yeah, my, my view on Bitcoin is I'm not interested in taking a position on here. Just no interest at all in taking a position here. Um, I would like to short any sign of weakness of taking that high and coming back down below. Okay. Um, and that for me would be a short. I'm not interested in shorting here. My other short would be if we do something like this and break down here. I would look to trade it to around you know, well, really first 7,000, uh, 7,230. Okay, 7,230. But uh, if you lose 7,230, uh, yeah, I'd be looking for around this 7, 7, 1, what is it, 7,180 POC to around 7,100, which I think the CC here is going to be coming in at... It's 7,100. So, uh, yeah, that sort of region if we lose, okay? The alternative is where, where I would go into a long, okay? My long would be if we actually break the weekly and hold the weekly. And I'll be looking to, yeah, yeah, literally, well, I guess you've got to be careful each of the highs. Each of these highs is going to be a resistance. So, or likely you're going to find pullbacks at this high, at this high. So that's coming in at around 7,700, 7,800. So each $100 increment. Okay, seven six, seven six. You just got support resistance. So literally every hundred dollar increment, you're gonna be looking at pullbacks potentially at seven thousand six hundred, seven thousand seven hundred, seven thousand eight hundred. But then you know that's you know you got to manage the trade. But I'd be looking for longs from seven thousand five hundred if it holds, or I guess if we get a pullback and look to to long a pullback. But um, yeah, I'd prefer to short the weakness than than long it. But um, yeah, essentially, I would like to to long if we manage to hold that weekly, um, and you know, you know, like to trade it up to the top of the actually the overall top of the range, okay? And the overall top of the range is obviously the higher weekly that we got up here. Okay, so if we delete that, delete that, and delete that, the range that we are in here is from monthly support to weekly resistance, so around 6,400 to 7,800, so a nice big range that we are actually in, obviously, but, um, yeah, that's how I'd look to trade it, and, uh, Okay, uh, so yeah, thank you once again. Catch you in the group chat in, yeah, five minutes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hope you have a good evening. And um, yeah, I suppose like I'm still concentrating on the alts at the moment until Bitcoin, you know, gets a bit more of a move. Not interested in trading this range at the moment. I uh, want to see move up or move down. But in the meantime, yeah, focused on altcoins. Uh, so thank you once again. And uh, yeah, good night, everybody. Cheers. And uh, yeah, thank you. Bye. <laughs> So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed that Bitcoin segment of the latest Champions livestream that i done. And this is just an added video to go on to the end just to show you the predictions that I made and how they have played out since. Uh, so yeah, let's go through the Bitcoin chart here. Um, and obviously from the video that you just watched that stream, I was on about this segment here where I was not interested in taking a short position until this trend line was lost as support or a long position until the weekly was claimed. Okay, and what happened next is what I like to call just trading technical analysis perfection where the charts and the technicals just you know trade as you one would expect i suppose and uh you know this is what happened okay so we dropped outside of the range okay so this range broke to the downside but perfectly held the cc support and that's fibs from low to the high you have the cc here and also the trend line support or well, we can see previously it was a valid trend line with the wicks through closing back above that is showing you sign of strength from the buyers with the wick through closing back above and the same here on to the trend line wicks through closing back above that's showing you 
that you know this is a support to be defended okay and from that defense we got a move to the upside through the weekly okay and through that weekly what we saw was again as that is the same as here wicks through the level wicks through the level wicks through the level this is showing you you know that this level has now been flipped into support this is the trigger for the long to trade it up to the next weekly region of that 7861 okay so this is the long to be taken and uh, you know you got a very very impulsive move from that flip okay from being claimed as support we got a move straight up to 8000 in the end okay and if you go on to i think it was about minute five of the stream okay minute five of the stream i was on about you know if we come out of the range which you do you done here coming to 8000 you come out of the range if you dip back into the range here this is where everybody's going to get caught offside everyone will start flipping bearish they'll say well this was a swing failure pattern and everyone's going to pile on the shorts uh, i want to talk you through a trade that i took prior to that and um, my thought process that i was thinking uh, so obviously from 8k we dropped down and then we got a secondary rise in the day uh, where if you look at the print screen that i added uh, to the stream which was you know earlier in the stream uh, in the video that you've watched you'll have seen the print screen from uh, a sculpt short that i took in the day with the team and this is one that i laid out fully okay was saying this is where i'm going to be entering and this is basically where i'm targeting uh you know just laying out exactly that sculpt trade that i would be taking on the short okay and this is one that i took you know with the people that were active at the time anyway uh yesterday and all of us making money from that okay and what we can see from that sculpt short that we take it was you know exactly this going from a short into a long positions okay so we're sculpting the that short into a long okay you might say well you know where are you going you know where where are you closing out of this short and then where are you flip into the long it was at the key level 7738 and now you might be thinking dang where have you got 7738 from this was the key level okay the key support that i gave to all of the group this is the players contenders and champions gave them all the key level of 7738 7, support and this for me you know it was just a massive support level and obviously the closer that you get to this support the better the risk reward is of a long this is why i also have to front run my own group <laughs> but um yeah this was for me a really 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 key level that well you know must be held and we perfectly held it okay and the, again with this coming into the range this is where the psychology of the market comes into play where average joe's probably going to be coming very bearish at this point thinking that was the high and uh, you know it wasn't you push on in the end to 8150 uh, before a little pullback before ultimately getting up to the daily region that I was expecting, this 8,500. And that was your very rapid $1,000 rise uh, from entry to where you're topping out, uh, you know, currently, anyway, uh, you know, could still move on here, but currently topping out at around the confluences that we have from around 8,450 to 8,500. There's a confluence that we are seeing here. So, you know, again, expected to pull back slightly. Um, and that's you know that brings us up to where we are now and also uh, i'd like to show you another another thing that happened um during this initial rise so this is where we had yesterday obviously our rise to around eight eight thousand two hundred say before a dipped back down below and this is what i was writing to the group yesterday well people just firstly checking that i'm still in longs which you know i was still in my long positions and happy to sleep on that uh because i still envisioned that we were going to get another move up and this is where you know retail what they're thinking and you know my my knowledge of what i'm thinking you know you want it to look ugly so you want to really see it dip below 8050 so it looks ugly and that is going to rail in more retail short positions thinking right that's the top again i'm entering the shorts okay what this what this happens here is you know you get a red ugly candle people are going to be like oh it's a bearish engulfing you know enter a short position into the into the old range what you get here is an ugly looking candle which people are going to be acting on uh dipping into again wick through support resist resistance flipping into support for that secondary move up exactly as i was expecting you know i i, I say you know i could be wrong i could be wrong uh but i do think we're going to still move up here and uh you know exactly as i kind of predicted i suppose we did get that move back up again okay and now that brings us to our confluence as a resistance and you know another day to be trading now um so yeah i hope that you've enjoyed this added segment the, the predictions that i've made and how they literally played out perfectly just so much money to be made you know even on the sculpts as well as just being sat in swing trade longs uh you know it's been going very very well 
And I guess I could just, oh yeah, this is what I would like. I've got a few things to mention. Firstly, that, uh, you know, there are setups that I generally take every single time. And there was a short setup, you know, from the list of rules that I have that, you know, generally I'd be shorting here. Uh, and people were asking, Dan, you're going to take this short? And I was like, no. And this, I think, is the difference between me and like a bot, whereas a bot is just going to be programmed to take this every time. You know, I can actually read the chart, use intuition and, you know, envisage, you no, know, this isn't a good short this time. Let's, let's leave it and, you know, wait for the rise. <laughs> so, you know, that's the difference a bot and a, and a human, I guess, and why humans prevail. Um, but yeah, secondary, uh, secondly, I would like to mention uh, another question that I get asked, uh, you know, quite frequently of, you know, Daniel, why do you charge for this group? Why don't you just do the group for free? Um, and for me, like, you are paying for my time, okay? Firstly, I put in so much time into trading, you know, Oh, in general, I've been trading 10 years now. Okay, so well, coming on 10 years. Um, and, you know, in cryptocurrency, I've been in the market three years. And this is three years of trading or coming on three years again, but uh, trading every single day, every single day and almost all the day. So all day, every day I've been in this market. Um, and then on top of that, I've been in the whole general, you know, traditional markets even longer. But, you know, I put in so much time into this and the time that I take out of trading and, you know, and put into the group. I want to be paid for that because if I'm honest with you, I make a lot, a lot more money trading than I do from my group. OK, uh, and for me to take the time out of trading, you know, as any human would, I suppose they want to get paid for their time, paid for the knowledge that I've built up over the years to, to you know, pass that on, essentially. Um, so, you know, it's one of the reasons that I pay for it you know, ask for a fee. But I do think that the fee is extremely low. It's £200 a month. And that is an investment in yourself. And as you can see from, you know, that short that I took yesterday, just the scalp, you know, this is like an hour of trading from trading that short into a long and, you know, giving these updates also to the group, I suppose. But, um, you know, that was yesterday just on a challenge account, just my challenge account, which is a small portfolio. Uh, you know, that was a $5,000 made in one day of trading. Okay. And people can, you know, essentially invest in themselves and learn but you know have the added bonus of possibly you know making some money along you know with learning and it's just you know I think it's an absolute steal and the value I think you can ask any member of the group the value that you get uh, for the charge is just is just worth it a hundred times over and you know I'm happy to show myself um you know, this, these are some of the uh, comment. This was a comment from this morning. You know, this guy's won, you know, of 24 trades, he's won 18 in three days. Never too old to learn. Absolutely you're not. These are some of the comments that people have been saying recently. Um, yeah, just like, yeah, the, the, the members, I think I don't need to show, show myself really because the members are absolutely loving it. And, you know, it speaks for itself, I suppose. Um so yeah, uh, there's that. And now we're just onto another trade, onto the next trade, always looking for these setups, always looking to just really make money. And you know, my job is to help you enjoy trading, I suppose, get you into actually learning trading and then moving on to the next step of, you know, making money. And that's what everybody wants here in trading. They just want to make money. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's brilliant to, for me personally, to have this like skill and, and then share it with everyone, I suppose. It's, it's really, really lovely. Um, so yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that you've enjoyed, uh, you know, seeing some of the predictions that I made, how they played out. I mean, just perfect, to be honest. Just really, really nice technical analysis. Uh, you know, it's given you an insight to some of the things that I look at and, you know, then how I move on to trade it. Um, so yeah, thank you once again. If you are interested, obviously, this is a bit of a promotion for myself of Chart Champions. So if you're interested, then chartchampions.com is the website. And, you know, it'd be happy to have you over in our community and, uh, you know, seeing you in the team. Um, you know, so there's that as well. So thank you once again from the bottom of my heart, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And just have a brilliant day and uh, enjoy this Bitcoin price action because it's, it's absolutely wonderful at the moment. Uh, thank you and goodbye. Cheers.